Does shading one panel out of a string stop the entire string from working? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Wolfgrid, and in this episode we're going to be looking at a myth that some people have that by shading a single panel or part of a single panel will stop the entire string from working. As we know, when you're connecting your panels on the roof of your motorhome or whatever, it is usually better to put them in series because then you can have a thinner cable running down. So you increase the voltage, you don't increase the amperage by putting them in series. Uh, so you have a thinner cable running down to the bottom where the MPPT controller is. And that works for us because when you're doing it in an RV, you don't want to be running really thick cables all the way down from the roof. You'd rather run, say, thin 4mm cables. In some cases, even 2.5mm cables would be fine. But the problem that some people have, or the myth that some people have, is that putting them in series has its disadvantages, namely that when a panel is shaded, then it brings the whole string down, or if a single panel is, for example, half shaded, that that panel will stop working, and as I said, the whole string will stop working. So we want to show you in practice uh, how we uh, prove that by shading a single panel or, or even multiple panels in the string will still allow the system to work. One of the strong advantages of having panels in series is that the voltage is, is higher to start with and Victron MPPTs require the panel voltage to be 5 volts higher than the battery in order to activate charging in the morning. So when you have your panels in a string, the voltage is slightly higher as a result of that, and that means that your panels start working earlier in the morning, and then uh, towards the end of the day, the Victron MPPTs carry on working for as long as the voltage is one volt higher than the battery. So that would mean that panels put in series will work uh, until later in the day. So you get more day length out of your panels in series, as well as thinner cables running down through the roof. So there's a win-win there. And if we can prove that by shading a single panel or part of a panel doesn't actually bring the whole string down, then that's a real plus for you. It means that if your RV is in partial shade, uh, everything will still actually carry on working. So that's what we're going to show you. Now, what we're going to do, we have outside, we're going to show you, but we have outside our show trailer, which has got uh, three, three or five watt panels on there. And so we've got 915 watts altogether. They're in series, so quite a high voltage. I think they're about, I can't remember if they, uh, I think they're about 30 volts each. So somewhere around 90 to 100 volts is what we usually get out of the string on a really nice day. Now, we're going to show you that operating on, this is our show board that we take to shows. And because we wanted to have a typical-ish controller, we've got the Victron 100 slash 20, so we can't exceed that. So if we put the three panels in series, all three on here, we will most likely be under the 100 volts, but we sometimes will be exceeding that, as we've seen for ourselves. But uh, we will definitely exceed the 20 amps if there's a reasonable bit of sunlight. That's not as critical for this because the, if the voltage is higher than what this can cope with, generally you can blow the controller. If the amperage coming out is higher than what it can cope with, it just simply cuts the output and, and tries again a minute or so later. So we wouldn't damage this, but we will be curious to see when we shade two of the panels entirely what the effect is, and we'll see it on our Sobo GX, we'll see the yield here. We've got a tiny panel on there at the moment, so that's a, a I think it's about an 80 watt panel. So we're getting 19 watts out of that. So we're going to disconnect that and connect our big array up. We have <clears throat> over here, because our, our, our big array comes through in the big Andersons to, to carry the, uh, I, th I think it's, it's over 50 amps, well over 50 amps, but this is capable of carrying 175. To plug it into our display board here, we need the small Anderson, the 50 amp Anderson. So we've made this adapter. So let's go and show you what the roof of that camper looks like. Or let's go and show you what the roof of that trailer looks like. <laughs> so up here are our three panels, it's three, three or five watt. I'm going to get a tarpaulin and just cover two of them. And we're going to go and run the test on just two of them initially. 
So as you can see, we have two of the three panels shaded by this tarpaulin. Just as a temporary measure, we've used a pole and two bricks to hold it down. Just there's a bit of a breeze popping up every now and then, and that just helps us. So we're going to go in inside and measure the voltage and see what's coming off these panels now. So we have the results of the final, the, one of the panels operating. We don't have much sun coming in at the moment, so it's operating at about 130 watts. Normally on ideal conditions, it would be bringing about 300 watts in from single panel. So 130 watts, so roughly about 8, 9 amps, so well within the uh, capability of this controller. What we're going to do now is that, so we know it's about 130 watts and it's obviously not a valid scientific test because by the time we've uncovered more of the panels and come back the sun could have changed. So we're going to go and, and uncover half of the panel and just see. So we've seen it settled at roughly 130. Let's see in a few minutes when we've uncovered half of that what it does. So as you can see we've got one and a half panels now exposed. Let's go inside and see what the result is. Right, look at the new result. We're on around about 200 watts. So we have one exposed, completely exposed panel and one half exposed panel. And that has brought us to quite a nice level for this particular test. So 16, 17, 18 amps on average. Well within the capability of this MPP controller. And uh, let's just see what the voltage is on Q. We've seen the, let's see, where is the voltage? There we are, there's our voltage up there. We're on 41 volt. So the two, the one and a half panels are producing, I think the one panel is roughly 30 volts or just under 30 volts and then the other bit will be coming from the second panel. So well pleased with that. So. As you can see folks, with good panels like Victron panels, and, and they are such superb value for money, Victron panels are incredibly good quality and uh, really robust and reliable. As you can see with the diodes that they have uh, built into the panel, you can partially shade a single panel and you can completely shade half of the string and everything still actually works. You get reduced yield obviously, but uh, the actual string does continue to work. So that to me completely dispels the myth that you should have half your panels in series and the other half in parallel or, or put two parallel strings together uh, so that you have some form of redundancy. Actually, it doesn't matter. You could put the whole lot in series and you'll be absolutely fine. If half of them get shaded, the whole thing just carries on working. So hopefully you find that useful. Hopefully that'll change your thinking around how you place your solar panels. And we shall see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thank you.